Hey guys, so in this first section we're going to be looking at Gulp Auto Prefixer. This is a really cool module that will look through our CSS and automatically detect which properties need a vendor prefix and then we'll add them for us. It's really versatile and it uses the Can I Use API so it's always up to date with the newest browsers and it lets us specify which browsers that we want to support. So let's jump right in. So before we go and install auto prefixer um, we need to set up our project folder so here's basically how I have a project set up um, I call it G4D Gulp for designers and inside my project I've created just a simple index.html file a CSS folder and a styles.css file um, I don't have anything in it at the moment I'm going to add that later Alright guys, now that we have our project set up, the next thing that we need to do is we need to install our npm packages that we'll be using for basically gulp and auto and gulp auto prefixer. So in order to do that, we need to first initialize our project. So we do an npm init names okay, okay, okay. Entry point will be index.html. Um, and I've set up a GitHub repository, so if you want to view my code, uh, you can just head to this address. I'll also put a link to this in the description. Keywords, okay. Author Lewis Long, okay, okay, yep, looks good. All right, so now we have a package.json file, and um, this will have all the um, metadata for our project. So basically the name of the project, the author, and basically everything that I typed in now. But in addition to that is when we install our npm dependencies, it will list them in this JSON file as a dependency so that if we share this project with another developer, we don't have to upload all of our node packages. Uh, we just include this package.json and if they run an npm install command in the terminal, it will automatically tell that project, uh, they'll automatically be able to download those packages on their computer. So let's do that. So let's do an npm install and then we're going to do a dash dash save. This dash dash save tells uh, npm to add that into our package.json file as a dependency. And then we'll say gulp Okay, so now you'll see that um, when we did an npm install, it created this folder here called node modules. So if we expand this here, we'll see that in addition to installing the gulp package, it installed all of the other packages that gulp uses as a dependency. So the next thing that we need, we need to also install npm install, and then again dash dash save and then we need gulp-auto prefixer. There you go, see that here. And then also look, this is our package.json file, and now we have a new item here called dependencies, and under dependencies, it this gulp, and then the version of that gulp, and then gulp-auto prefixer. So now we have our node modules and we can use gulp in our project so let's go ahead and do that before we start writing our gulp file um, I want to quickly go over how exactly auto prefixer works so uh, real quick let's head over to the uh, github page for auto prefixing and if we look here um, we see how kind of um, what I was talking about before is that it will add the uh, vendor prefixes for any CSS properties that require it. But what's really nice is that auto prefixer it uses the can I use API as a way to decide which properties are need vendor prefixes for which browsers and which browser versions which is really nice so that will assure that depending on what our project is and 
what browsers our project needs to support. Um, we can tweak our, our gulp file to account for that. So if we're doing a project for mobile devices, um, we really only need to have it support newer browsers and that will keep our CSS a lot lighter. But if, for instance, we need to support uh, older versions of Internet Explorer, so 9 or 8, then we want to account for that in our, our gulp file so that um, it adds the necessary uh, CSS for that. If you're not um, familiar with Can I Use, it's a really useful resource. So if we go over here to caniuse.com and if we type in a uh, specific CSS property, so for instance if we want to use Flexbox, so if we type in Flexbox and it will show us here which browsers support it. So we can see here most browsers now support it. So if you notice the um, chart here, anywhere where you see this dark green means it's that property is fully supported. So it looks like the uh, majority of the browsers support this prop Flexbox property and that means without any browser prefix. If we have a look here at uh, the iOS Safari, you'll see here that it requires the WebKit prefix for older version for 8.4, and then the same thing here for the Android br browser, also requires the WebKit prefix, and then um, IE 8 and 9 do not support it at all, and then IE 11 has partial support. So, and you can look at here at the notes down here to see what exactly um, those problems are. So this is a really good resource for any kind of um, property that you want to check out, see if it's supported or not. And you can also um, use this resource to check um, what percentage of users actually use that browser. So you can see, um, for instance, Chrome version 49 uh, it has a 14% global usage. And a, another great resource to quickly see um, which CSS properties uh, require prefixes is shouldiprefix.com. And if we check it out here, we can quickly scroll through and then any of these blue um, sections here, any of these blue properties, mean that you should use prefixes. So animations, box reflection, filters, flex box. And it looks like the majority of properties are supported, uh, at least the most commonly used ones. The exception is transforms, which are pretty common. And that one you still need to use prefixes. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and start writing our gulp file. Okay, now we're ready to write our gulp file. So the first thing we need to do is to create that file. So create a new file. We're going to call it gulpfile.js. And in that, the first thing that we need to do is to add our dependencies. And the way we do that is in CommonJS format. So we'll say variable gulp equals require, because this is a requirement, gulp. And the next requirement is call that auto prefixer. And we'll set that to equal require gulp dash auto prefixer. Right. So let's just set that up as our requirements. And 
to write our gulp task that will actually um, go through and process our CSS. So the way we do that is we need to first say gulp.task and then we need to give our task a name. So we're going to call this auto prefix and we need to pass it a callback function. We want to return first the gulp.source. So where is our what file are we using as our source? And that's going to be CSS slash styles.css. And then we need to pass a pipe here. And that would be our auto prefixer module. So auto prefixer. And we want to pass an object to that. And we want to use the oops, last two versions. So that will use the latest two versions of each browser. Looks good. And then finally, we need to do another, another pipe. And we need to tell it where we want to put our file. The, the um, process CSS file. So we're going, for now, we're going to put that to go dot destination, and we're going to set that to CSS because we want to keep it. Just overwrite our current file and add the uh, prefixes to that. And that looks good. That looks good. Now we're set to run our CSS. So to test this out, let's open our styles.css file and let's write some CSS. Or let's write a class called uh, rotate. Let's say we want to rotate this element 90 degrees. So we'll say transform rotate 90 degrees Let's save that and if we go back to the uh, terminal here and we want to use our gulp task that we just created we'll just write gulp and then what was our task called auto prefix. So if we do gulp auto prefix gulp file not found oh, I accidentally saved this in my note uh, modules directly so let's move this out to our root. Okay. Let's run this again. Gulp auto prefix. Okay. So it ran our task. Let's check out our CSS file and see what it did. And if you see here, it automatically added the WebKit uh, prefix to this. So this works for any uh, CSS property that requires it. And if it doesn't, so let's try this again. Let's write something that doesn't need a prefix. So let's just say container. And we'll say width 960 pixels and margin auto. If we run our task again, 
you'll see that nothing happened. And that's because um, Auto Prefixer went through all of these properties, and it knew that width and margin are supported by all browsers, so it didn't need to prefix them. So just skip that. So let's try another one. Let's try Flexbox. Call it the Flex. We'll say Display Flex and Flex Flow equals Row Wrap. Let's run this again and see what happens. You see that it automatically added the uh, vendor prefixes for both WebKit and Microsoft. Alright guys, so that about does it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I went a little bit long because I wanted to take some time to kind of go slow through things that for people who've never used Gulp before. Um, in the next videos I'm going to go a little bit faster since we basically have the um, setup complete and a lot of the uh, format is the same. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.